Hey everybody, welcome to our 500 subscriber special. I want to thank all everyone that got us up to 500 subscribers. Rocking a new look, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, this is our my Halloween costume. I'm going to be uh, Jack Brogan from Big Criminal China. There will be a review of that sometime in the future. I haven't gotten around to watching yet. But we got another review. If you guys have been watching, check out my community page. You know, we've been talking a lot about Joseph Cotton and this movie. So, let's get rocking as we talk about the man with a cloak. <clears throat> a creepy tale set in 1948 New York. The story follows a spirited demoiselle determined to save her fiancé's grandfather from his benevolent and possibly homicidal servants. Fortified with glass of uh, the on-the-cuff wine of the local tavern, an urban cloaked stranger comes to aid. The gentleman displays the keen detecting his skills, and the plot turns for suspecting murder to hunt for a missing will. But one thing does not reveal the own, his own identity. So run yourself to the mystery and a cast Alamo if you can guess who is the man in the cloak. Starring Joseph Cotton and Barbara Stanwyck and based on a story by John Dickinson Carr. This was a really good movie. really enjoyed it. This is the first Joseph Cotton movie that I've really sat down and watched, but I really enjoyed it. If you guys know, we've been doing a lot, we've been showing a lot of snaps from this on the channel, so I give this movie about a three and a half out of five. I think maybe I would spoil the little So I had read the article in Famous Monster Film, and so I knew who he really was. But I do like the uh, connection to Dupont. And I think if I ever decided to do a Dupont marathon, I probably would throw this in with like um, the Purloin Letter and Murders in the Rue de la Morgue, which have that character. So yeah, overall, I give this. A three and a half out of five. Do I recommend it? Yes. I highly recommend checking this out, especially if you're a fan of Detective Mysteries and you're a fan of Red Ground Poe. And to end this review, quote the Raven nevermore. And thank you once again for getting us up to 500 subscribers. Until next time, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon if you're new. And this whole month thing is just something new to me altogether. Comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon if you're new. And we'll see you next time right here on Bucky749.